Chapter 1 Computer and its Types This chapter covers Computer can do different types of work functions of a computer What makes a computer powerful? Types of computer advantages and disadvantages of computer Computer can do different types of work Computer is an electronic machine Machine make our work easier and faster Different machines do various types of work A washing machine washes clothes A music system plays music An air conditioner cools a room And so on Most machines can only do one type of work An air conditioner cools a room so It cannot wash clothes A computer, however, can do a number of things It can help us do the following things Storing information Solving mathematical problems Typing and printing Drawing Coloring and creating designs Playing music Helping us watch films and cartoons We're drawing money from an ATM Sending email messages Creating animation and special effects Keeping records of books in library Booking train tickets Air tickets Movie tickets etc Because of this Most offices Schools Colleges and shops use computers in their work now a days to store information, do difficult calculations, create documents and presentations, communicate with each other, functions of a computer. You do not have to give instructions to a machine that has only one function to do. For example, when you put a bottle of tomato ketchup in the refrigerator. You do not need to tell the refrigerator what to do. If the refrigerator is on, it will start cooling the tomato ketchup automatically. A computer, on the other hand, can do many things. So you need to tell the computer what you want it to do. A computer works in three simple steps. The data and instructions, which we enter through the keyboard into a computer is called input. We can enter words, numbers, pictures as input. This is called data. The computer works on the data and instructions given to computer to produce the result. This step is called processing. After processing the data, computer displays the result and stores it for later use. This called output. These three steps together from the IPO cycle. I equals input. P equals processing, O equals output input processing output look at the different parts of computer and learn what role each one of them play in the IPO, input processing output, cycle, the keyboard and mouse help us enter the input into the computer. These parts are called input devices. The central processing unit, CPU, processing device. It is the brain of the computer that controls all parts of the computer system. The monitor displays the result while the printer prints the result on sheets of papers. These parts are output devices. The information that we see on a monitor is called soft copy. A computer can store a huge amount of information inside it. It has a storage device, called the hard disk. What makes a computer powerful? The computer has many unique features that make it a truly powerful machine. Let's learn about some of these features. Speed It can carry out large and difficult tasks very fast speeds and can do billions of jobs per second. Accuracy Computer doesn't make mistakes. If you give the correct input, you will get the correct output. Computer makes an error only when you give an incorrect input to it. The computer does not get tired. No matter how many times you give difficult tasks, it will give you the right output, every time. Versatility A computer can store a very large amount of data on a device called hard disk. The hard disk is inside the CPU box. Storage A computer can store a very large amount of data on a device called hard disk. The hard disk is inside the CPU box. Types of computer There are various types of computer based on their size, cost and speed. Let's learn about some of them. Personal computer is a small computer that has been designed to be used by one personal, at home or at office. It is often simply called PC. 2. Laptop Laptop is also a type of personal computer. It is a small computer that you can carry with you. It works on battery which has to be charged, 
as is done in mobile phones. Some laptops are also called notebook. 3. Workstation Workstation is an advanced desktop computer that is used for technical or scientific work like 3D graphics and game development. 4. Server Server is a special computer that has a number of smaller computers connected to it in a network. A server stores all the main data of schools, colleges and offices. The data is shared on computer networks. 5. Mainframe A mainframe computer is a very large, fast and powerful computer. It is used in large organizations to do work that involves large amounts of data. Supercomputer Supercomputer is the most powerful and the fastest type of mainframe computer. It can deal with huge amounts of data very quickly.